Graduation, a celebrated occasion that beholds the beginning of progressive events in a young man's life. A commencement and inauguration of responsibility, the family members no longer an exponent of parental supervision, relinquishing their authority and decreed decision-making in their son's behalf. Robert Wilson was graduating from high school. The Chaparral High School event finding Robert's parents, sister, and grandparents all present for the occasion, his grandmother Wilson flying from California to be present for the celebrated event. Gary discovering the ceremony much like most graduations, having attended his daughter Marlowe's in Oklahoma City. But what really impressed him was the closing song. Never a musician to be impressed with lyrics, but the lyrics of A Irish Blessing, a choral presentation would forever remain an ardent part of his son's graduation. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your fields and until we meet again, may God hold you, may God hold you ever in the palm of his hands. Graduation fulfilled, Robert venturing in the 84 Chevrolet Blazer, journeying westward, his wayward travel taking him to California, his ambition, to visit his west coast family. Arriving at his Aunt Nancy's and his grandmother's residence in Columbia, five miles north of Sonora. All was not pretense, the youth finding he was called upon to avail his cousin Sarah, her husband Randy having injured his back in a work-related incident. With new carpet being installed in their residence, Robert called upon to moving furniture. His journey was not without substance, taking time to explore the Pacific coast, the youth now proclaiming surfs up. A Kansas youth able to experience the realm of the wave-driven Pacific Ocean. A vast difference from the landlocked patronage of Kansas, viewing the world through the eyes of a young person finding responsibility. The full page ad in the Wichita Eagle Beacon certainly received Gary's attention. The man of La Mancha was being presented at Century 2. What caught his engrossment was the production company having acquired the actual stage setting used for the Broadway production. The paper displaying in full color the majesty of the set. Gary knowledgeable of the musical, especially its characterization of Don Quixote and acquainted with the story and composers whom have written musical depictions. Gary's favorite, Richard Strauss, having composed orchestrated tone poems about Don Quixote, Don Juan, Ein Heldenleben, A Hero's Life. Also Sprach Zarathustra, better known to the American public as the opening theme from the movie 8, a 2001, Space Odyssey. Gary asking his wife Jan if she would like to accompany him for the Saturday afternoon presentation, but her knowledge and interest in the arts reflected her Murrow family upbringing in Kiowa. A salt of the earth family, but rather lacking in recognition, of the artistic expressions of the world. His enthusiasm was building as he journeyed to Wichita's Century II, knowing that the Mitchley's musical composition would be an imminent presentation. Highlighted by the song, The Impossible Dream, its stature a prominent display in the world of music. Arrival at the Century 2 Concert Hall, an abundance in attendance. Gary discovering that the only available seating was in the balcony. As customary when attending the symphony or concert performances his attire was always fitting for the occasion, a suit or sport coat with tie. Standing in line to acquire a balcony admission, a lady with a young girl approached him, asserting that they had an extra ticket in the orchestra section, her husband unable to attend. Asking Gary if would he be interested in purchasing it, Gary inquired as to the price, the lady acknowledged she would accept the same amount as the $13 balcony admission. Joining this newfound acquaintance and her daughter, 
Gary was astonished to find himself in the season ticket holders reserved section, seated 15 rows, center stage from the performance. Miraculous seating for a musical dream about to come true. With its conclusion, the performance of The Man of La Mancha exceeding all expectations. Don Quixote, leaving one a lasting impression. Call nothing thy own except thy soul. Love not what thou art, but only what thou may become.